Okay, so now we come to a quite cool but a little bit uh, intimidating topic in algebra and that's algebraic long division. Now I know you probably hate long division but you'll see this is actually quite easy and actually fun. Okay, so let's just go and look back at um, numeric long division. Okay, that was when we had something like this. Okay, we wanted to divide 6 into a number like 900 and 10 okay and what we would do is we would take this and divide it into the first digit here so 6 divides into 9 only once okay I can get 6 or subtract 6 once from 9 and I know then I'll have 3 left but um, just to show it this way around so now I multiply the 1 back to the 6 1 times 6 is 6 okay and then I subtract from these two from each other. So I subtract 6 and I get 3. Now here, this is called the divisor. The divisor is the 6. Okay. This is called the quotient. Okay, that's the answer. Quotient. Okay. And then this is the numerator. The numerator, that's the 9. Okay. And this answer that we get after we subtracted we call the remainder okay the remainder now you'll always see you'll see in this case the 6 can't divide into the remainder but what we do then is we bring down the next term or the next digit actually and we get 31 6 can divide into 31 and it goes in there 5 times so the quotient now is 5 I multiply the 5 back to the 6 to get 30. Okay, so 6 can't divide into 31, but it can divide into 30 and leave, once we subtract, a 1 as a remainder. Okay, again we do the same thing. We bring down the next digit, the 0. We see, okay, 6 can't divide into 1, but it can divide into this 10 that we have, and it goes in once. 6 can be subtracted from 10 once. So we multiply the 1 back to the 6 to get 6 again. Okay. Then what we do is we subtract the 6 and get a 4 remainder. Now there's nothing to bring down anymore. Okay. And the 6 can't divide into the 4, which means I'm done. That means if I take 151, uh, sorry, 910, I take 910 and I divide it with 6, my answer will be 151, but there will be 4 left that still has to be divided by 6. Okay. Now what I can do is simply multiply both sides here by a 6. And you'll see later the significance of this part. If I take the left hand side and the right hand side divided by 6, on this side it will cancel. I'll be left with 910 is equal to, here I can distribute, okay, 151 times 6 plus, and when I take, multiply this with a 6, the 6 will cancel, and I'll just be left with 4, okay. So, one way of looking at this is just saying, okay, well, to get 910 using 6, I have to multiply 6 with 151, to get close to 910 and then I can add 4 more to get to 910. Okay, so that's one way of looking at it. Now if 6 could divide into 910, okay, if it was able to divide we would call it a factor. Okay, like for example if we had 906, that is 151 times 4. Now you, sorry, not times four times six. Now we can see that there's a remainder of zero. When we have a remainder of zero, that six is called a factor of 906. Okay, that would be a factor of 906 because it can divide without a remainder. Okay, now let's look at algebraic uh, long division. It's similar, uh, but there's a few differences. Okay, so we'll look at an example, and let's look at the example 
Okay, let's say x to the power of 3, change my color, x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus x plus 4. And I want to divide this, remember this is a polynomial of degree 3, okay, there's four terms here, and I want to divide it with a polynomial of a degree 1. Okay, so the highest exponent is equal to 1. Okay, and how will I do that? Well, the process is very similar. I'll take my first digit. In this case, we're not doing digit with digits, we're doing terms. I'll take my first term, which is the x to the power of 3, and I'll divide x into that. Now, how many times does it divide? It divides x squared times. Okay, so x to the power of 3 divided by x gives me x squared. And now I multiply my x squared back, but to all of the terms. So I distribute it. Okay, x squared times x gives me x cubed. Okay, x squared times 3 gives me positive 3x squared. Okay, so this is my divisor. My divisor this is going this whole thing is my numerator okay and in the top I'm getting my quotient okay that's my quotient kind of the answer okay and now to get the remainder I multiply the quotient with the divisor and then I subtract it so I'm going to subtract this so x cu cubed minus x cubed will be zero this must always be zero if it's not then you made a mistake Okay, and then minus 2x squared minus positive 3x. In other words, the negative will make this positive a negative. So I'll get minus 2x squared minus 3x squared will give me minus 5x squared. That's my new remainder. So what do I do? I bring down not my next digit, but my next term. My next term is a plus x. Go through the same process x divides into minus 5x squared minus 5x time. Multiply the minus 5x back and I get minus 5x squared and minus 5x times positive 3 gives me negative 15x. Again I have to subtract to get my remainder. Now when I subtract the signs just change. So these become positive so my first term is 0 and this term becomes 16, so plus 16x. Bring down my final term, and this will be my last step, plus 4. Okay, last time divide my x in here. Okay, 16 divided by x gives me, a 16x divided by x gives me positive 16, and this positive 16 gets multiplied back to both terms there to give me the following. Now I get uh, up a bit, 16 times x gives me 16x and 16 times positive 3 gives me positive 48. Now subtracting changes all of the signs so that becomes negative and that becomes negative so I get 0 and on this side I get negative 44. And now since there's no more way that x can divide into 44, I have reached my final remainder. Okay, so let's summarize this and we'll see that x squared, I'll change the color, x squared minus, no, x cubed, I'm sorry, x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 4. If that is divided with x plus 3, then my answer that I get in the end is this quotient x squared minus 5x plus 16 plus there's still another 44 as a remainder that needs to be divided by x plus 3, but it cannot divide nicely, so we keep it as a fraction. And there we go. We have divided, we have done long division with an algebraic expression. I don't think it's that bad. I'm sure you don't either. Go try some on your own now.